This is CodeWalker. Today I'm going to show you how I'm using it to fix a pipeline animation bug in Blender. Now, this might not be a bug at all. It might not be in Blender at all, but the crash, that is definitely happening in Blender, and I'd really like to know why. I have a motion capture file that I created in another app. When I open it in Lightwave, it works fine. When I open it in Blender, it is not so fine. Now, there's never enough time when you're on a deadline, so even though Blender is open source, I really don't have time to learn how it works just to fix this one bug. In fact, if I could figure out exactly what failed, without needing to learn how the code worked, but still solve the problem quickly, that would be incredible. Looking at the error, I can see it's happening in this import bvh file. That's a Python file. Let's take a look at that in CodeWalker. CodeWalker creates a visual map for your code and shows you how it all fits together. If I really wanted to learn how all of this code works, I could just spend a few minutes looking over this map and I'd know. But right now, I don't even have time for that, and I definitely don't have time to just start guessing what the solution is. So let's see if I can solve this without learning the ins and outs of mocap importer source code, and also without randomly guessing. I'm going to open the retrace window in CodeWalker and click the Auto Generate button. CodeWalker takes the original file and creates a copy next to it that should work the same way but has some minor modifications. All we have to do is swap the file names so Blender will use the new code. And now we're going to load our motion capture file again. Blender will use the new Python code with CodeWalker's changes. And let's reload everything in CodeWalker, including the retrace data it just created. With the retrace feature, CodeWalker shows me what happened and in what order, and I can scrub through it just like scrubbing in a video editor or an animation timeline. And I can make this super simple by filtering out everything else except the parts of the code that it actually ran. So after doing that, the red means it spent a lot of time in this code, which is set up, and then it's spending relatively less time right before it fails setting up the skeleton's bones. I'm going to make one change to have Retrace track what bone is being set up and what the name of that bone is. After running this again, CodeWalker shows me that everything is fine right up until I sign a bone named Sword? Huh. I would not have guessed that. And that's after 200 steps through the code. There's no way I could have had time to go through this in the same amount of time with a debugger. Going back into the mocap app, I found that Sword bone. It was not parented properly. I fixed that and re-recorded the same motion. So now, testing the new motion capture data, I can see that this is working perfectly. What you just saw was a breakthrough in software debugging. We found a problem without a lot of guesswork, and learned how part of the code worked in the process without spending hours waiting through the code. No more guessing. Much less time to solve problems, much easier way to navigate unfamiliar code, and a much faster time to market. For more info, go to getcodewalker.com today and see what it can do for you.